Well, joining me now is the very Reverend Kelvin Holsworth, Provost of St. Mary's Cathedral in Glasgow. Things like this just don't happen in Glasgow, indeed in Scotland, very much at all. So people will be very shocked. They're very shocked indeed. Uh, the, the, the feeling in Glasgow is just a, of, of horror that this could happen. Uh, we're not used to this kind of thing. And this is such a welcoming city for so many refugees and asylum seekers. So it is very unexpected. Now, I gather you've, you've worked with the asylum seeker and refugee community in the city. I mean, what can you tell us about the tensions that have been reported that the First Minister uh, referred to herself um, during this time in which people have been moved out of the flats that they were living in and made to go into these hotels? There has been a lot of anxiety about what would happen to people once the uh, people have been moved into various pieces of places of safe accommodation during the COVID crisis. And there's been a lot of anxiety about what would happen at the end of that. And also people fearing evictions. Um, and these are people who are frightened anyway. These are people who have come from all around the world, from across Europe and beyond, looking for a place of safety. So they're, they're often a very... Uh, but they're very tense people, they're very anxious people, and they're looking for somewhere to settle. And, and that, that inevitably leads to tension when that's threatened. Had you, had you heard about tension in the hotels themselves? I mean, some, some reports have said that, you know, people felt their freedoms had been taken away to some degree and they were likening them to prisons. the residents of that hotel, Jonathan... Well, I don't know whether they're like, to, like, like prisons. It's hard to say. Uh, I've not been in any of these hotels. Uh, but I know that they have been fairly crowded, uh, and I know that people have been quite anxious. Uh, I mean, all of us have felt uh, as though we've been in prisons during lockdown. All of us have felt as though we couldn't uh, move about. Um, so it's understandable, I think, that any uh, community that's confined in fairly close quarters is going to feel very anxious at the moment. There's quite a lesson today, really, looking across social media and the, and the, and the, you know, the broadcast media, a sort of rumour of what had actually happened. Uh, and what might have been the motive behind it turned out to be quite wrong within a, a matter of hours. What, what do you think the lessons are? Well, uh, the lessons are don't tweet unless you know uh, what's true. Uh, but then that's a lesson for many days, not just today. Um, I think that people react very quickly to anything with uh, trigger issues, issues around asylum, uh, issues around poverty. Um, issues around any kind of tension like that. People tend to want to write into the script their own uh, feelings about that. Uh, and, and today's an obvious lesson to, to wait and see and, and wait and try and find out the truth. Reverend Holsworth, thank you very much.